It's fall, which means a variety of mushrooms are in season in Japan. Let's get one of each and make a five mushroom risotto. First, let's introduce our mushrooms. We have shimeji, which are bunched mushrooms, great in stir fries and soups. They kind of smell a little funky until they're cooked. Shitake, this is probably the most common Japanese mushroom. They're really great in everything. They have a super umami flavor. Eringi, also called trumpet mushrooms, are a large versatile cap mushroom. They can be grilled or roasted whole. Maitake, which are hen of the wood, called the dancing mushroom. Great in soups, or even fried as tempura. Enoki, another bunch of mushroom, which I think is my favorite. They can be fried, stir-fried, eaten in soups or hot pots. Okay, let's get started with the shiitake mushrooms. We'll remove the stems. Usually I toss them because they're too woody to eat, but instead let's use them for the stock. So let's cut off the ends, give them a rinse, and drop them in a saucepan. Fill that with water, and turn on the heat. I'll also add some vegetable stock. Use what you have if you have fresh veggie stock or mushroom stock, definitely use that instead. Back to the caps of the shiitake, we will give those a slice and set those aside. Next, adding the trumpet mushrooms, cut the stem from the cap near where it bends, cut each part in half and then in slices. Set those with the shiitake. Next, the crazy looking maitake. I'll cut off the tougher base and add it to the stock pot. The rest I'll just break apart. They come apart really nicely like this. I'll set those with the other three. Shimeji, I'll cut off the base and break apart. I'll set those with the other three. These we will keep in the same tray as they'll all be going in at the same time. The enoki mushrooms though, I'll be cooking separately. Those we'll cut off the base and break into smaller bunches. I'll prepare these separately from the others. So I'll set those on their own little tray. The other items we will need to prepare are the aromatics, a half of an onion, and a few cloves of garlic. Let's dice the onion, and do the same to the garlic. Make sure to run your knife through a few times for a fine dice. Set those aside, and now we have everything ready, so let's cook. First, let's fry the enoki in a little olive oil. Line up the enoki bunches, giving them plenty of space in between. By frying in batches and giving them space, we can make sure they get a nice color on them. Add a little more olive oil if necessary, and season with a little salt. Let them brown on one side, give them a flip, and cook until crispy on the other side. Once they have some nice color, remove and set aside for later. The rest of the mushrooms we will saute in a little butter and olive oil. Add in half of the garlic. And the whole tray of mushrooms. It may look like a lot, but they will reduce in size. Make sure to stir or toss and let those saute for a few minutes. They should reduce in size like this. Once they are cooked through, set them aside. With the garnishes ready, let's get our risotto started. In the same frying pan, melt some butter with olive oil, butter for flavor, and olive oil so the butter doesn't burn as quick. Add the onions and let's saute until they soften. Add the rest of the garlic. Give everything a good mix and let that cook until super fragrant. Let's add in two cups of rice. I'm using Japanese short grain rice, which works really well as a risotto rice. Toast the rice until the edges start to become translucent. While those toast, let's pour some wine and pour it in. Let that simmer until the wine is absorbed or evaporated. Now begins the laborious process of ladling in stock and stirring. Add a few ladles of stock in at a time. Once it looks like there's not enough stock, add some more. Continue this process for 20 minutes. You don't need to constantly stir, but don't abandon it for too long. Keep an eye on it and don't leave it for more than two minutes tops without a stir. After about 20 minutes, the rice should have softened and given up their starch to thicken into a nice porridge-like consistency. Toss back in about two thirds of the sauteed mushrooms. Let those come back up to temperature. Add a little more stock if necessary. To finish, add a couple of pats of butter and some Parmesan cheese until it looks real creamy. Let's get ready to serve. Serve in a large dish. It should pour over the plate, but hold together. 
add over the rest of the reserved mushrooms and some fried enoki. Give it another grating of cheese and a crack of pepper. We need something green, so let's pick some parsley and make sure to chop it finely. Okay, and there we have it, our five mushroom risotto. Let's give it a taste. Mm, creamy, so much flavor. The enoki had a nice crunch to them. Really great dish. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Leave a like. For more Italian-inspired recipes, check out this playlist right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.